Uh, welcome once again uh, to Learners Coach. So if you have been wondering uh, maybe which kind of medical courses uh, to pursue if you have a D-plus, then you are in the right place. So with your D-plus, I'm going to show you some of the most marketable courses that you can actually pursue, right? So don't give up because uh, you can start from certificate level, then upgrade to diploma, then you can even end up doing some degree in this particular uh, with this particular medical uh, courses so as you can see I uh, just want to uh, randomly uh, maybe showcase some of the certificate courses that you can do from different institutes or colleges like uh, I've opened the website for Nairobi Women's Hospital College and you can see they have different types of what uh, co uh, courses that they can uh, they offer so I'll just maybe uh, let's just look at the details of certificate in perioperative theatre technology. Uh, see what they require. So just click on the admission criteria here. So you can see, you just need a KCSE, a mean grade of D plane and above, and need to have done biology. And this reminds me of a student who asked me, can I do a particular medical course? without biology. Biology is very, very important when you are undertaking any kind of medical uh, course. So that is uh, uh, Nairobi Women's Hospital College, right, that offers this. Let's maybe look at uh, Kenya Medical Training College and see just one of the courses that they offer. So you can see they have different faculties, Faculty of Clinical Sciences, uh, Faculty of Information Technology, and Medical Education. Uh, maybe let me sample one from Faculty of uh, Public Health, uh, that is Department of Nutrition and uh, Dietics. So if you scroll, uh, this is a brochure, let me just maximize it. Uh, so if you scroll within the brochure, you can see Certificate in Nutrition and Dietics uh, takes two years, mean grade is what? Uh, D plus, right? So I'm um, just sampling. Uh, so that is another one from KMTC. If you go to AMREF International University, these are well-known uh, colleges and universities. Let me just go to, let's just narrow down to certificate because that's where you're going to get a uh, certificate in community health. Let's see, right, the requirement, entry requirements. Uh, you can see... Kenya Certificate of Secondary Education, a KCC Main Grade D plan. So, ladies and gentlemen, so if you have a D plus, uh, you should not be still seated uh, around. Uh, you need to proceed to these particular institutions and start your journey by attending these particular uh, courses. So if you're joining us for the very first time, kindly take a second or two to be part of this particular community. I want to mention other uh, courses that you can do with your D+. Plus. But before that, uh, kindly be part of this particular community. Alright, uh, thanks uh, for subscribing, ladies and gentlemen. So, I got a D+, plus, a grade in KCC, so which is the best medical course to pursue. I've already shown you some of these particular courses from at the different colleges. Now, uh, in our list, number one, you can also do a certificate in counseling, psychology, right? So this one requires you to do or to have a D plus, mean grade. I'm not really limiting you uh, to any particular uh, college. You just check around. You'll find one or two colleges offering uh, this particular certificate course with this particular grade. So once you complete, uh, you'll be able to uh, offer some psychiatric counseling services in places such as a hospital. And of course, the best part of this is that you can always upgrade uh, from this particular certificate to diploma, right? Now in our list, second is certificate in community health nursing, right? So here you require a mean grade of D plus in KCC. And of course, a C minus in English or Kiswahili and biology, and D plus in either physics, maths, or uh, chemistry. So, this course equips you with essential skills to provide a healthcare at the community level. So, we'll cover different topics such as health, child health, 
maternal, maternal health and so on. So take note of that particular uh, course with your D plus, you can do community health nurse. Uh, we also have certificate in medical laboratory technology. So it requires a D plus in KCSE with a D plus in English, uh, biology, chem or physics, right? Now with understanding of this course, uh, you'll be able to uh, maybe handle some kind of medical equipment, that is one, do some medical samples, right? So it's a very, very marketable uh, course. And in fact, this is the, these are the people you meet <laughs> before you even see the doctor. They take your samples, right? And then they recommend you to visit or see a particular doctor. Number four, a certificate in community health and development. Right, so you can find this within KMTC. Of course, you need to have a mean grade of D plus, D plane in English or Kiswahili, and of course, a D plane in either mathematics, physics, or a biology. So you will be able to promote good health, uh, seeking behavior among community members once you graduate, and better still, it is a well sought out uh, course. We also have certificate in pharmacy technician, right? You, you can find this from the Nairobi Technical Institute and of course from KMTC with a minimum grade of D plus in your KCSE. Uh, D plus in either English or biology or chemistry, right? You should be able to dispense medication, give accurate uh, medical or rather drugs uh, usage to prescribe drug usage to uh the patients right and so on you can also go ahead and op open your own pharmacy because you know what needs to be done uh, at number six we have certificate in health records and information technology now this varies in K at kmtc you will be required to have mean grade of d plus uh, of c minus in some uh colleges that i've mentioned you'll find it, uh, they'll actually allow you to do it with a D plus in KCSE, right? So once you complete this particular course, you can advance into a diploma in health records, right? And of course, it takes one year in most uh, of the colleges. So as a student, you'll be equipped with skills and knowledge to manage, store, and maintain, uh, or rather retrieve medical uh, records. Then we have certificate in health promotion for the deaf. With a D plus uh, grade, you can be able to do this particular course. Of course, you need to have a D plus in English or Kenya Sign Language, a D plane in biology, a D plane in chem, agriculture, or general science, right? So, as you know, uh, this will be, uh, maybe it will come in handy in helping uh, those particular students who are deaf, right? So it could be like giving them or providing them English language or any other language. Uh, number eight, certificate in nutrition and dietics. I think I've already mentioned this somewhere, right? So from KMTC, you can find this course. And of course, from Thika Technical Training College or Training Institute, you can always find it. With a D plus in KCSE, a D plus in English, and of course, in any of the biological sciences, you should be able to uh, do this particular course. You will be able to promote good health through proper nutrition to the community schools and hospitals. Now, lastly in our list, uh, we have Certificate in Medical Imaging Sciences. So this program focuses on medical imaging techniques like x-rays, ultrasounds, MRI. It enables students to operate this imaging equipment, right? So find this from the Annex Medical Training Center, that is Nakuru, and of course you need to have a mean grade of D plus in KCC with a D plus in physics, mathematics, and biology. So biology is a must have when you are taking uh, these medical courses. So ladies and gentlemen, I've encouraged you, if you had a D plus, <laughs> you have a chance to pursue the certificate based medical courses and then you are going to upgrade uh, to diploma level and even you can do your uh, your degree so should you find this information useful uh, spread the news and the good word and we encourage you 
to keep on checking from our channel for the latest information regarding the best uh, courses that you can pursue uh, here in Kenya. All right, thanks.